Now, as you can see, in both of these cells, A1 and A2, I have the same amount, same value, but the formatting is different. So if you want to have this kind of formatting where you have one number with one decimal, you can use custom formatting for that. When you press Ctrl and 1, it opens the Format Cells option. Or you can also right click on it and go to Format Cells. And from here, you need to go to Custom. And then in the Type Input box, delete the formatting that you already have. And now enter a custom formatting that will convert it into a single number with a single decimal. First of all, I'm going to enter the dollar sign that I want. And then asterisk sign. So this is also the operator we use for multiplication. And then a space. And after that, 0.0. .0. So this tells Excel to show a number with a single decimal. And then two commas. And in the end, I'm going to enter M which is enclosed in double quotation marks. And now the moment I click OK, it converts my value into millions with a single decimal. Now let me show you how this custom formatting works. So in this custom formatting, first of all, we have a dollar sign, which is the currency sign. And then we have this asterisk and a space. So when you use this asterisk and space with the dollar sign, this makes this dollar sign to always stay at the left of the cell. No matter how long number you have, it will always stay at the left of the cell. Now, after that, we have 0.0, .0 that, that shows this number with single decimal. So if you have 1.3 million, so it will show you 1.3. And if you have 1.2 million, it will show you 1.2. But the use of this 0.0, .0 is to show it as a single decimal. Now, next we have two commas. Now each comma here represents 1000. And when you have two commas, that means you have three zeros and three zeros again. So it means one million. And when you use these two commas, every number you have, every value you have will get divided by one million. So if I have 1.2 million, it will always divided by one million. And in the end, I will get 1.2. And in the end, that M we are using enclosed in double quotation marks is just a suffix that we want to have with the number. And here I have two formulas that you can that you can also use to convert millions with a single decimal number. So the first is the round where I'm just you know referring to the original number and dividing it with one million and then specifying one to get a single decimal and then combining it with a suffix m. So what I get and then is 1.2 m. And in the same way, I'm using text where I'm specifying the original number and then I'm specifying a format which says 0, 0.0 to get the decimal, one decimal and then two commas to divide the number, to show the number as a division with 1 million. So where you have 1.2 million, it will show you 1.2. And then I have this M as a suffix after the number.